What's up guys, Stark here. In today's character spotlight, we are going to be taking a look at Mash or Mashu, uh, depending on which translation you want to go with. Uh, because she's called Mash in this game, uh, I'm going to call her that in this video. Uh, but anyway, she is the servant you start with when you start the game, and she is a shielder type. She is the only shielder type in the game, and that means she's going to take uh, normal damage from all classes and deal normal damage to all classes so she's pretty unique another good thing about her is that she has zero cost which is pretty awesome because you can use her on any team at any point and it's not going to hinder your cost at all so you could just throw her on a team if you need an extra slot and you know she's pretty good as well um currently as I'm making this video she's not very good but I'll explain how and why she gets good later on First up though, I'm going to throw her pictures on the screen, uh, and one thing you might notice is that she's a 4 star in these pictures, but she's actually a 3 star in the game, and I'll explain that in just a second, but I'm also going to throw up her stats before I talk about this. So there are her stats, at level 80 she has a max attack of 8,730, and she has 12,877 HP. So now you're wondering how she's a 4 star when she's a 3 star in the game. And that's pretty simple, really. Um, Mash doesn't level up like any other servant in the game. She levels up through story progression. So as you progress through the story, you will gain stats for her and she'll ascend that way. You don't have to use evolution materials to ascend her. And eventually, after enough story missions, she will become a 4-star character. So that's how she becomes a 4-star, and that's what I'm going to be talking about in this game. I imagine... She might get a 5 star later on, but that will be much further down the line. Um, so we're just going to talk about what she's got currently right now in the game. A lot of this is actually going to be talking about the stuff she has in the Japanese version, but it's to prepare you guys for what happens when we get the stuff on the global version. So first I'll talk about her servant skills, and her first skill is Transient Wall of Snowflakes. And this is going to increase the defense of all allies for 3 turns. It's a pretty solid defensive buff and you can combo that with other characters like Waver and increase the defense even more. And it will also in the future get an upgrade and it will still increase defense for 3 turns but it will also decrease damage received for 1 turn. So that's a nice little buff in addition to that. Uh, we're not going to get this for a while so don't look for it but... You know, we will eventually get it. Her second skill is called Ob Obscurant Wall of Chalk, and that will apply Invincible to one ally for one turn and increase their Noble Phantasm gauge. So this is pretty cool, you just use this and that enemy will be completely invulnerable for one turn, so nothing can happen to them. Uh, you could use this to save your character if they're about to die, namely like Berserker characters or things like that. Uh, she's Mash is really just good for like defensive setup. She's really good at it, especially at the higher levels when you ascend her. Her final skill is called Shield of Rousing Resolution, and this is going to apply Taunt for one turn and increase the Noble Phantasm gain for one turn. And uh, this skill is not actually in the game, I haven't actually used it yet, but what it looks like is it increases their Noble Phantasm gain by 200% at level 1 which makes me believe that you could just use her Noble Phantasm pretty much as soon as you use this skill, if not on the next turn. So that's always really nice, especially on a defensive character to, to recycle those Noble Phantasms as quickly as possible is definitely ideal. So now I'm going to talk about her Ascension materials. Now as I said previously, you don't use items to Ascend Mash. You beat Story Islands and then through story progression she will eventually ascend. So by beating Septum she will get her first ascension, by beating London she will get her second ascension, by beating Camelot she'll get her third ascension, and by beating Babylon she'll get her maximum ascension. So obviously we don't have some of those yet, we will get them in the future, so MASH is kind of like capped at what she could do right now, and I imagine in the future when you beat more story missions and story islands she'll she'll get better stats and keep going uh, but for now that's what she goes to I will throw up her skill enhancement materials as well um, it's not a whole lot 
what you need like you just need a couple of each like different item and it's pretty overall really easy to max her skill set and her skill set's pretty pretty solid so i would definitely uh, recommend trying to do that so mash does not have a maximum bond craft essence i imagine in the future uh you will get that with like different story islands and things like that but for now she doesn't have one so we obviously can't talk about it so we will talk about her command cards and her noble phantasm she has two arts two buster and one quick setup uh, so she is geared more towards the arts teams but like i said she has zero cost so you can just throw her in any team and it really doesn't matter uh, her noble phantasm is arts though and it will increase defense of all allies for three turns and reduce damage received for three turns so that's pretty good uh the increase at maximum level is is 50 percent which is really good um again you're going to increase her noble phantasm by doing story so eventually that will get capped off at level five and then you can also buff her buff up her noble phantasm as well and it's going to do the same things before but it will also increase the attack of all allies except for mash herself so that once you can upgrade that that'll be really nice you get you know huge defensive buffs and then you also have an attack increase and it's 30 percent attack increase as well which is really really good so that's pretty much it for mash uh she's a really nice character you know the zero cost makes her viable in every team and the fact that you can just upgrade her by doing story is also very nice you don't have to spend a lot of time and effort on her you will just naturally progress her into her best stats so she is a really good character and i hope you guys enjoyed this video Tomorrow I will be doing Saber Lily and I will see you guys tomorrow.